to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to explore the circulatory system. So the part of the circulatory system we're going to look at today is the lungs and we're going to be exploring what is the function of the lungs and how can we use the following materials to model how the lungs work. Okay, so the materials you're going to need to make a model of the lungs is a bottle, okay, so a waste bottle, two balloons, two straws, some elastic bands and a sheet of plastic and some blue tack or plasticine or modelling clay, okay. So what you need to do now is use those materials to actually make a model of the lungs. So how are you going to use a balloon, a couple of balloons, two straws and a bottle to, to show how the lungs function? So let's go through the function of the lungs and then you can hopefully try and explore how you might make a model of that using the materials that we've suggested. So here is an illustration of a torso of a human body. And this is where the lungs live. So the lungs live within our chest. And the system that helps the lungs work has different jobs to do and are named using the labels on the left hand side. So within our lungs and within the system that makes our lungs work, we've got a windpipe, we've got airways, we've got the lungs themselves, bronchioles and we've got a diaphragm. So could you label the different parts would you be able to label the different parts of that part of our circulatory system see if you can have a go okay so let's have a look at the different parts so here are the parts labeled now your two lungs fill your chest and sit either side of your heart. Now did you know that the left lung is smaller than the right lung? Because it shares that side of the chest with your heart. Now the main part, your windpipe, is called your trachea. And the job of the windpipe is to carry air that you breathe in through your nose and your mouth and it carries it to the lungs. It also has the job of helping the air that you breathe out travel up your windpipe and out through your mouth again. Now the windpipe travels down to small airways. So you can see on that illustration that we've labelled the small airways. These are also known as bronchi. These then branch out to what we call um, bronchioles. So the smallest are too narrow to be seen with the naked eye. And this is no, often called the bronchial tree. At the end of these tubes are tiny sacs called alveoli. These are where the gas exchange happens. Under a microscope, the inside of your lungs looks like a giant sponge. So you can see the lungs are labelled. Now you might notice an extra part that we've not mentioned, and that's the diaphragm. We'll come on to the diaphragm in, the mo in a moment because the diaphragm has a very important job to do. So let's just show you the illustration of the air sacs. So the air sacs, like we've already explained, are like a giant sponge. So the job of the lungs really is to filter the air that we breathe. So moving on to how it actually functions then. And let's introduce you to the diaphragm. So here's an illustration that's going to help, you ex help us explain how the lungs work. So, your main breathing muscle is the diaphragm. And you can see the diaphragm is at the bottom of your lungs and this divides your chest from your abdomen. Your diaphragm contracts when you breathe in. So pulling the lungs down and stretching and expanding them. It relaxes into a dome position. When you breathe out, reducing the amount of air in your lungs. So when you breathe in, the lungs expand, the diaphragm moves down. And then when you breathe out again, that muscle moves back up, contracting your lungs, squeezing them in and pushing the air back out through your windpipe. 
These are also muscles in there are also muscles in between the ribs which keep the rib cage stiff and help with breathing. These are called intercostal muscles. So your body has a very, very important job and it works very, very hard to help you breathe in the air, but also filter that air from your body. So you are now going to build a model of the lungs using the materials that we've given to you. So could you think about how you could use a plastic bottle, two straws, two balloons, some elastic bands and a plastic sheet or a balloon again. And we've actually suggested using a bit of plasticine as well and you'll see why when we make a model. So what we'd like you to do is have a go at making that model, explore and experiment, don't worry if you get it wrong, and see if you can make a working model of the lungs. So we'd suggest that you pause the video at this stage, have a go, but we're then going to revisit and actually show you how we'd make a model. Okay, so with your materials now, you're going to make a model of the lungs. So hopefully you've already had a go at trying to do this and hopefully you've achieved it. So hopefully this will just reaffirm what you've already done. So when you get your bottle, the first thing you need to do is take the bottom off the bottle. So you need to get an adult to help you pierce a hole in the bottle so you can get your scissors into the bottom and this will allow you then to cut. Now I've washed my bottle out but what I haven't done is I, I haven't dried it completely so I have a little bit of water. So once you've done that, the second thing you need to do, so this is acting as your, this is acting as the human torso, so this is the chest of the human. You now need to uh, find something that's going to replicate the uh, trachea, the windpipe. So have a little look at what materials will do that. Now you might want to make that a little bit straighter. I haven't actually cut that very well. So yeah, you guessed it, it's the straws. Now, if we only use one straw, okay, we have only got one windpipe, but we have got two lungs. So it'd be a good idea to actually use two straws and join them at the top. So you've got what looks like a windpipe and then the airways that lead onto the lungs. So those go together and at the end of your windpipe and your airways you need to add a model of the lungs. So what can we use to act as the model of the lungs? Yes that's right we can use a balloon. So using the balloon, tie the balloon to the end of the airways but don't tie it too tight because you need the air to flow through the airways into the lungs and you need the lungs to inflate. Okay, so tie that up. Do the same with the other side. Okay, there we go. There we go. Should have done a Blue Peter styly and made one earlier. So apologies, you have to wait. So, now these balloons are quite large actually. Maybe I should have explored a new smaller one, but we'll see, I haven't tested this yet. So let's see if it actually works. So once you've made this model, I want you to use this model to show somebody else what you've learned about how the lungs work. So see if you can explain what the key parts are. Obviously, people have got to use their imagination a bit. So, the balloon is the lung. I think I might squish the straw a little bit there. So, you might want to just test that your lungs uh, inflate. Okay, there we go. So, there's your lungs. So, those have got to go into the bottle. Okay. I'm going to move that one down. So, we can put them in this way. And now what we want to try and do is uh, block off the rest of the airway. So there's your two lungs. Okay, 
Okay, and what we can do with the modelling clay, we can block the airways at the top. So using your modelling clay, we just pop that down. A bit of a. This is actually just blue tack. I couldn't find my modelling clay today. And pop that in at the top. So that's just blocking that, that airway off there. Oh, I've dropped my string. Take a little bit of manipulating to help. There we go. Now you've got to be really careful not to block your railways, but you should have now two straws and you should have a lung on either side. There you go. Okay, so a little bit of manipulating with your model. Those are your lungs. And then there's one thing missing. So we've got our windpipe, we've got our airways that go from the windpipe to the lungs. And then of course we've got our air sacs inside of our lungs. But we can't see those, remember, you need to look under a microscope. The one thing missing that makes the lungs work. Can you have a look think about what that's called and what that looks like? So hopefully you've guessed it right. It's called the diaphragm. That sits underneath the lungs. So today, now this might not be the best material, but today we're going to use a piece of plastic. You could, and I know a lot of people build this model using a balloon, but it's up to you to explore and experiment with different ideas. So cut in a piece of plastic, so I'm just using a, um, a pocket, clear wallet. I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'm going to use an elastic band to attach that around the bottom like so. I'm really going to keep my fingers and toes crossed now that this works. So here we go. Okay. Here we go. So what you've got to try and do now is make that tight around the edge. Okay, so it's nice and tight. But the elastic band needs to keep it on there. This bottle design is not the best. Oh dear. So where you cut your bottle is really quite important. So I'm going to try and move my elastic band oh. <laughs> further up the bottle. There we go. Okay. So just make sure that the plastic Hanging out. There we go. So now we've got to replicate how the lungs work. So how do your lungs work? What do you do? As a, and you might want to tidy that up afterwards, but let's see if it works. First, so let's just trim a little bit of that off so you can see that you can tidy up your model afterwards. There we go. So, nice and tight. So that needs to be nice and tight there. Okay, your diaphragm. So now we should be able to inflate our lungs. And can you see what happens to the diaphragm? So when we breathe in, when we breathe air into our windpipe, into our airways, it fills our lungs with air and our diaphragm goes down. Then the diaphragm, which is a muscle, then pushes that back up, pushes the air through your lungs and out, and that helps you breathe. So, hope you have fun making a model of the lungs. I'd love to see what you've created, so please share your images with us or videos if you have them, and I hope you enjoy that activity. Thank you for listening.